Welcome to the most boring let's play of your life. I'm your host. Boring Boris. Boris. <laughs> Stop, you can't make jokes. They have to be. Actually. They can't be entertaining at all. Thanks, dude. I'm glad you find me entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why didn't we start? Well, we did start. We, we did? You started yeah, the timer? Yeah. No. Okay. I didn't think we started. I guess we could be started, though. Yeah, We're just welcome. looking for this last owl on uh, Among the Sleep. Boris and Borain. Or Borain. Or, or maybe, Anthony Borain. Actually, how about Boris and Bors? Uh, Bors is an actual name. Bors is an actual name? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's medieval, you know, but whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the name of a knight from King Arthur. Oh, really? I don't yeah, remember that one. Bors. I mean, There's I, a lot of knights that don't really yeah, have any fame. Right, exactly. But uh, My favorite Arthurian tale is uh, Gawain and the Green Knight. Oh, I feel that one's kind of lame. Do you really? No. <laughs> I, just wanted to, I just wanted to just put you down. Offer a counterpoint just yeah. to have some... Let's, let's be dramatic. Descent, yeah. Yeah. That's the... the <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we were joking about talking in a boring voice, and we somehow come to this like just like slow drones anyhow. Yeah, just like, it's just right. too natural when you're focused on something to you know. I mean, I'm not focused on anything. Well, I am. Just watch out for the uh, for the. Uh, oh my god, I can't even remember what they're called. What are those wolves called in Fable? Audience. F the bal the bal balverines balverines. Fables. Whoa. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh That's the same wee. thing you saw that one before. Ooh wee. You know you know where that picture's from. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? This well, is gonna have to be our last episode yeah. for today. Because <laughs> now we're just taking voices from Jim Rick and Morty. Rick Royland. Justin, Justin Royland. Justin Royland. Oh, I don't you're, even know. You're if, doing a good job there, baby. I don't even know if Royland is how he pronounces his name. I've never heard it. I've just uh, read ROI. Roland? Yeah, it could be. Uh, I think it's Roland. That makes a lot of sense. Well, it's ROI, though, is how it's spelled. Yeah, but that's Roy, like like Royal. Wait, so you think it is Roiland? It, yeah. For, oh, for I sure. thought you said it. you thought it was Roland, and that was what was throwing me off. No. Um, We're well, going to go an entire episode without finding this thing. All right, cut cut to finding it, I think. All right, we're going to cut. I'm not really going to cut. I'm just kidding. You're not? Not cut. Because I'm editing. All right. Did you find the owl? I think we might have found it. Uh, we had to pause there for just a moment while we were like, hey, let's go. Oh, I see that glowy. I found it. <laughs> so it was immediately after we were like, let's pause and then go see if we can find it and come back that we immediately so, found it. Oh, wrong seemingly button. obvious place for now. Uh, it's not that obvious. I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. Oh, look at that picture. No. <laughs> it's all right. I'd rather get advanced. Game Boy Advanced. What? There's a monster. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna fall. Look at it. Can I look at it? I think it's just like a smoke monster, like in Lost. I don't think it has a physical form that I can observe. Unfortunately. I can hear their mutant monsters theme music playing in the distance. <laughs> sounds like a punk band. Go ahead and tell them all about that. I don't know if you guys can hear it. We can't be sure. Yeah. But this... this our, the next neighbor <laughs> likes to play punk music with his band. He Later doesn't like to play punk music. He likes to play the same song <laughs> every fucking weekend, and it always happens to be when we're recording. Like on the weekend, we're not recording. He's probably not playing. We should go to his concert. Oh, God. And play, let's play there. It's really <laughs> loud. <Yeah. laughs> it's like set up a PA that overpowers <laughs> his. We're just talking yeah. casually. I think they do play live shows, but not like. Oh, dude, I would love to do a live let's play. We could call it. Instant replay. Live? Instant replay pre recorded in front of a live studio audience. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, that is actually a thing too, though, right? Like the, um, the, uh. Yeah, like a lot of cons and stuff, you have a lot of live. Yeah, well, and they plays. do like charities where you have like a big audience. Uh, what we need is to pander to our audience and, and get them to like believe in us as a cause. And share us out to everyone they know. Oh, yeah. And then... Share us. Tell, tell everybody to share it with like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. And then 
And then once we've gotten big enough that we can actually do cons, then a, a live charity con performance of Instant Replay Live could happen. That is the most confident sentence I've ever heard come out of you in regards to this channel. <laughs> confident? You said, when this channel gets big enough. Right. See, normally you're like... Uh, no, I was... Uh, deprecating. It's not this. legit. It's not legit? No. You didn't, you didn't mean it? Can I not go under there? Okay. Whoa. Creepy. It's a very, like... Like, uh, kind of zen... Yeah. Imagery. Yeah, my whole point with saying when we do is that we're pandering to an audience Finally. and making them think in a, like that we're better than we are <laughs> and that we deserve to be shared out. We do. So, it, I mean, we're great. I mean, we would really appreciate it <laughs> if people did. This is but... like Tim Burton and Silent Hill had a baby. Oh, cool. Silent Burton. I mean, I think I'm really just going to Silent Hill because of like, the rustiness and the yeah. dilapidated yeah. nature of everything. This just Tim looks like them. this is going to kill this baby. Every time. Ha <laughs> wee slides. I want a giant slide. Uh, I wonder. Uh, so I used to really love water parks as a kid, back. and now that I'm adult, I'm like you. But I, I still want to go to a water park. I just yeah. Want to the idea of the water park yeah. is so much better than the gross, gross reality. <laughs> I was listening to uh, the radio. They were talking about you know stories about people who worked there. And like oh, the amount of parks? shit they clean out of water park, Ew. like and, and like poopies that you know, you're just like, oh, so there's a floater, <laughs> time to get everybody out of the out of the wave pool. We gotta get this poop out of here. Um, I just realized that I'm burning so memories of my mother. Together. I know we will. Well, Holy you know the fuck! By now. What the fuck, Joe? What is this game you have got me playing? This, I'm literally burning memories of my mother to get through this door, which I've opened before, by the way. Oh, I've got to close. I just, uh, I just, my, I mean, my, uh... Your I just, mind was blown? Yeah, like... Yeah. Is Teddy evil? I mean, I think he's trying to get me to forget so that I can become, like, his little dark servant or something. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah. You have, be... to, you have to forget your past life. Oh, that's the book series I want to read next. Is this closed enough? Um, his Dark I... Materials, have you read that? Oh, no, but I, uh... I mean, I heard the movie wasn't all that great, but I'm sure. gonna... I, I, I mean, I've heard good things about the books, so... Yeah, I'm, and... I'm down to check that out. Oh, yeah. He never puts his hand in right. Teddy, render it's properly. Don't you think? He rendered my heart full of love. Come on, it's it's such a... no time to lose. It's a whole new he's, world he's, again. It's weird that he's so much more confident now. Teddy? Now that you kind of, like, uh, yeah, he's like, well, stick it in, burn that shit. <laughs> We're doing good. Your mom loved this music box. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's just a little shithead, you know? Like, oh, my God. You think it's the kid who's being bad? No, no, I mean, um, but the, the kid's just like, follow, what a follower, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just have That's your own mind. Jesus Christ, baby. Jesus Christ, baby. <laughs> Unto the world a child is born. And he burns his mother's shit. Love the baby's Jesus. The baby's Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna drink All a little bit. All this Hylian brew. Oh, God. I, I got drunk. <laughs> oh, the tipsy from all this baby wine. <laughs> baby wine? <laughs> wine made especially for and from babies. <laughs> that is actually... Is there's, that a tree? There's a... There's a, um... Sketch from I don't know if it's Whitest Kids or or some other just equally yeah, yeah. Uh, but that that was a whole like there was a whole sketch that was like we want to make we want to make alcohol for babies oh it's Whitest Kids <laughs> what and you would think you know that there would be a straight man who would be like no we can't do that but I think everyone's just on board like, yeah like let's make alcohol for babies <laughs> oh that's awesome <laughs> uh, Whitest Kids man I, I wish I wish I could be so funny. Yeah, I wish I, I could. I mean, they they went downhill. Humor. I feel like they burned their their best humor out. Oh really? But yeah, because like seasons three and four just weren't as funny. I, I think I've only seen the first two seasons, honestly. So that's that really was the disappointing. Stuff. That's disappointing it's, to hear. Don't get me wrong; it's worth watching seasons three and four because there are some great gags. Um, oh. but uh, overall, seasons one and two were just most of their good their 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 gold. Like all the quotable stuff, all the Those remember that sketch. 
but I really want to do some sketch comedy at some point. The next one is I, I don't know what the rooms. what the venue for that is. Uh huh. When Instant Replay Live does sketches, that's gonna be really fun. It's coming <laughs> next fall. Just get ready. It's a year and a half away. It's gonna go on the right. No, uh, the left slot. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I can figure out this six-piece hey, puzzle. It's not an easy for one. Which, for which three of the pieces are already assembled. Dude, I, I can handle it. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to like like you know. I want to help you out though. So. My biggest issue is more with the controls of this game being weird than it is. You're weird. Uh, thank you. Haha. <laughs> wow. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't Hologram fall paintings. In. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what the noises I'm making are. Wow. <laughs> Dude, the, 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 the Jeff, Jeff Goldblum, Goldblum song. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is awesome though, isn't he? Yes, like, he is. Uh, he's just so like, I mean, from the fly, he's awesome, right? Like, he's so creepy and perfect for that character, and then everything he does thereafter, he, he, even if he's trying to play a not too weird character, he's too weird. Yeah. <laughs> Life. Uh, uh. Finds a way. Uh, finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh gosh. The, the sketch where he interrogates money is just so good. Interrogates money? Yeah, it's, he's, he's playing a, a, a cop, and uh, he's brought some money into an interrogation room, and he talks to the money. <laughs> <laughs> and he does it with all the Jeff Goldblumisms. Yes. It's nice. so good. Is it on a Tim and Eric or something it's like either, it? It's either... Um, it's either Portlandia or, oh, okay. um, or Last Week Tonight. I can't remember which one yeah, it is. I forgot he's done some Portlandia stuff, too. I assume this is the way to go, but is there anything over there I should go check out first or just go this way? I think you should go this way, dude. All right. I feel like most of this, the tangential areas loop back one way or another. Yeah. That's my that's my suspicion. It seems to. That's true. Dude, look at these cattails. They're, you just pull on them and it's like... <laughs> it's, I realized I actually really like swamps. They don't smell great, but visually they're really they're very like, cool to look cool, at. Yeah. yeah, I hate mosquitoes though, and that is the big sure. swamp problem. But I'm not a big fan of swamp culture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's just like. Ugh. Oh, dude! Rachel and I went to New Orleans, and I mean, yes, the swamp culture can be <laughs> daunting. But um, we did a swamp tour. And uh, the guy who was giving the tour was very, like, customer service friendly, so he was not a swamp culture person. What? 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 Uh, Anyhow. Amazing. Like, it was one of the best vacations I've ever had in my life. Just, like, I know it, it's this weird thing where it's, like, wild gators and stuff, and we happened to see a lot the day we went. He said usually, you know, people don't get to see as many. Um, but, uh... Ooh, Jesus! Do you see that? Yeah, what is that? Uh, that is alive. <laughs> it has eyeballs. Um, the water. Oh man! I'm coming over here. I'm gonna pick up this block. Here, oh, come on. Here, play with that. There. Now you leave me alone forever. All right. Well. <laughs> um. Anyhow. Anything cool happen on this? Uh. This. Ooh, uh. Head. Well, what did cool happen? I mean, we saw some um, <laughs> raccoons. <laughs> that that had uh, moved into the animal reserve and um, were there for all of the marshmallows that they feed to the gators, which was interesting. They feed marshmallows to gators. Um, that's that's an interesting weird thing. Um, the uh, guy told us stories about how he gets lots of um, bachelorette parties that go there and. They like to take nude. Well, they don't. They're not intentionally nude tours through the swamp, but they like to undress during these uh, swamp tours, which is a very interesting thing for him, I guess. And <laughs> that seems like such a weird idea, right? Like, why would you want to just like I'm gonna take off my top because I'm on the swamp. I mean, that's what I do when I'm in the swamp. Uh, I want to get that fresh swamp air in my sweat, my sweat swamp pits. <laughs> well. Uh, Unless there's anything else to do, to do for that, we're going to have to wrap up this yeah, episode. I, I guess the only other thing was that there was this uh, very unfortunate story he told about a, uh, a guide who got fired from their tour company for using the marshmallows to lure a wild boar to the water oh God. so that a gator would eat it. 
Oh my god. And that is actually what happened. And uh, weirdly enough, he told me there's a video on the internet, and um, you could look it up, and I did not, because I don't want to see that. Yeah. But I was on Reddit, and a year later, somebody posted, I went on this swamp tour, and my swamp guide told me about this thing that happened, so I looked it up, and here it is. And it was the actual video Man. of that swamp company, that store company doing that. So that's the last bit of that. It's a terrible video. Don't watch it. it the sounds are awful. Um, and next time on Instant Replay Live. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.